The 2023 Tour de France kicks off here in the Basque Country, and there's one rider that's out for a win, and not just any win, number 35 in the Tour de France, and that's Mark Cavendish. He already holds the record at 34 stage wins with the great Eddie Merckx. If he wins just one more stage, he would be the all-time stage winner in the Tour de France. It's a lot to ask for Mark Cavendish, who's gonna be 38 years old when the Tour de France starts from here in the Basque Country on July 1st. How incredible of an achievement is it that he already has 34 wins in a career that you were saying spans 15 years? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible to have uh, 34 wins in the Tour de France because most of the riders, we don't uh, reach 34 wins in all our career. And Cavendish has them just in the Tour de France. So I think he will go full focus to try and win that 35th uh, stage. And he's come a long way because he's gone from Team T-Mobile, which became High Road. He was at Team Sky, he was at Team Quick Step on a couple of occasions, Bahrain, uh, Dimension Data, and now he's with a new team, Team Astana. And it was a last minute decision. He needed a team that could offer him that place, a shot to get a chance to go to the Tour de France and then where he hopes to have a chance to win another stage. I mean, switching teams, it's never easy for a rider. What are the complications when you're switching a team ahead of a season that has big objectives? The, uh, the most important thing is to have a good relations with, with your teammates, with your directors, trainers. So I think that's key for the, for the uh, improve yourself and, and try and go for the wins. Then it's also important the material, of course the bike, because all uh, the brands has different geometry of the bikes, so you have to use, uh, make use to it. But I think Cavendish is used to changing teams, teammates, he knows everyone in the peloton. He has tried a lot of different bikes, so I think it's not a problem for him. And we've already seen the team kind of dabble around the different equipment, uh, even as 2023 already began, different wheel sponsors, other sponsors, and trying to dial things in for its star rider, Mark Cavendish. Now, let's remember, he last won four stages in 2021 with Team Quickstep, and the team didn't take him to the 2022 Tour de France because it favored Fabio Jakobsen. And indeed, over these 15 years, the whole sprint landscape has changed. Riders have come and gone, like Marcel Kittel and other top sprinters. Who are the big guys now that are gonna give him the competition and, and perhaps prevent him from winning number 35 at the Tour de France? I think the big guys now in the sprints are guys like Jakobsen, Caleb Ewan, even Dylan Grenebegen. But uh, Cavendish uh, with the Tour is a special mix and I think uh, he will be a real, real uh, difficult guy to beat. So it's a race of time, it's a race against age and a race perhaps where it could be his last Tour de France and everybody's hoping he gets that record but there are so many other cyclists out there to stop him from trying to do so. And so will Mark Cavendish win stage number 35 this year at the Tour de France? Well, we're all gonna have to tune in to find out.